How do individual preferences influence the diversity of sexual experiences? What are the sexual differences between men and women? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Individual preferences play a fundamental role in the diversity of sexual experiences. Each person has different needs, desires, and boundaries in intimacy. Preferences may vary in terms of practices, rhythms, and levels of emotional intimacy. Open communication and mutual respect are essential to understanding and satisfying these preferences in the diversity of sexual experiences. Biologically, there are differences in sexual organs and hormone production between men and women. However, it is crucial to remember that differences among individuals of the same gender are often greater than differences between genders in terms of sexual preferences and behaviors. Effects on relationships. Excessive pornography consumption can have negative effects on interpersonal relationships, such as decreased sexual desire towards the partner or unrealistic comparison with pornography standards. Ejaculation time. The average duration of male ejaculation is about five seconds, but it can vary significantly from one man to another. Emotional connection positions. For many women, sexual positions involving eye contact, hugs, and tender kisses are especially meaningful as they strengthen the emotional connection with their partner. Erectile dysfunction and acupuncture. Some studies suggest that acupuncture may be beneficial for treating erectile dysfunction by improving blood flow to the penis and reducing anxiety related to sexual performance. Erectile dysfunction and cardiovascular diseases. Erectile dysfunction can be an early sign of cardiovascular disease as both conditions share similar risk factors such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and obesity. Erectile dysfunction and diabetes. Diabetes can damage the nerves and blood vessels essential for achieving an erection, increasing the risk of erectile dysfunction in men with this condition. Erectile dysfunction and excessive alcohol. Consumption. Excessive alcohol consumption can negatively affect erectile function by interfering with the body's ability to achieve and maintain an erection. Reducing alcohol consumption can help improve erectile function in some men. Erectile dysfunction and hormone therapy. In some cases, testosterone replacement therapy may improve erectile function in men with low levels of this hormone, especially if erectile dysfunction is related to testosterone deficiency. Erectile dysfunction and medication side effects. Some medications, such as antidepressants, antipsychotics, high blood pressure medications, and tranquilizers can cause erectile dysfunction as a side effect. If you experience erection problems while taking medications, consult your doctor. Erectile dysfunction and orgasm. Although men with erectile dysfunction may have difficulty achieving or maintaining an erection, they can still experience orgasms, as erection and orgasm are separate processes. Erectile dysfunction and psychological factors. Anxiety, depression, stress, and other psychological factors can contribute to erectile dysfunction by interfering with sexual arousal and performance. Erectile dysfunction and quality of life. Erectile dysfunction can have a significant impact on a man's quality of life, affecting self-esteem, relationships, and emotional well-being. It is important to seek medical help if experiencing persistent erection problems. Erectile dysfunction and smoking. Smoking can damage blood vessels and reduce blood flow to the penis, which can contribute to erectile dysfunction in smokers. Erogenous zones. In addition to the genitals, the human body has many erogenous zones. Lips, ears, neck, and other areas can be highly sensitive to touch and caresses, contributing to sexual arousal. Exploring these zones can enrich intimacy. Ethical challenges. Pornography poses ethical and moral challenges regarding the representation of sexuality, consent, objectification, and sexual exploitation. Ethical production. 
There are initiatives to promote the ethical production of pornography, which includes fair labor practices, informed consent, and positive representations of sexual and body diversity. Evolution of contraceptives. Throughout history, contraceptive methods have evolved from rudimentary practices to more advanced options like birth control pills and intrauterine devices. Experimentation with sex toys. Foreplay is an ideal time to introduce sex toys into intimacy. Vibrators, massagers, and other toys can add variety and additional stimulation to the sexual experience. Exploration of new roles. Foreplay may involve the exploration of new sexual roles and power dynamics, allowing women to experience different aspects of their sexuality and erotic expression. External stimuli. Environmental factors such as lighting, music, and ambience can influence a woman's receptiveness to certain sexual positions and contribute to her overall arousal and enjoyment. Family care. Interest and concern for family and the ability to be a good parent can be very attractive. Fantasies and role-playing. Foreplay can include the exploration of sexual fantasies and role-playing. These can range from romantic scenarios to more intense and dominant roles, depending on the couple's preferences. Fantasy positions. Sexual fantasies can influence women's preferences for sexual positions, leading them to experiment with positions that reflect their deepest desires and fantasies. Female orgasm and the clitoris. The clitoris is a highly sensitive organ that plays a central role in the female orgasm. Direct stimulation of the clitoris is key for many women to achieve orgasm. Feminist reinterpretations. Some feminist movements reinterpret the Kama Sutra from a feminist perspective, highlighting its potential to empower women and promote gender equality in the sexual realm. Fetishism in art. Throughout art history, sexual fetishes have been represented in various forms, from Renaissance paintings to contemporary works. This reflects how human sexuality and desires have been topics of interest over time. Focus on mutual pleasure. The Kama Sutra promotes the concept that sexual pleasure should not only be for oneself, but should be mutual and equitable between partners, reflecting the importance of communication and satisfaction for both parties in intimacy. Foot fetishism. Foot fetishism involves sexual attraction to feet, including their appearance, shape, and texture. Some people find excitement in worshiping, kissing, licking, or massaging another person's feet. Frequency. According to studies, around 50 to 60% of women masturbate regularly at some point in their lives. Gender change fantasies. Some people have sexual fantasies about changing gender or experiencing sexuality from the perspective of the other gender. These fantasies can be a way to explore gender identity and sexual expression. Gender reassignment surgery, or gender confirmation surgery, is a procedure some individuals choose to align their body with their gender identity. It involves a series of surgeries and therapies. Global pornography market. Pornography is a multi-billion dollar global market spanning multiple industries, from film production to the sale of sex toys and online advertising. Group sex fantasies. Group sex fantasies involve sexual encounters with multiple people at the same time, whether in threesomes, orgies, or gangbangs. These fantasies can be explored through imagination or consensually in real life. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.